Hello traders. In this video, I will review the expert advisor EA called Forex Pirate. This EA uses a strategy of stop loss and take profit. Here's the recommended money management breakdown. With a capital of 100 US dollars and a lot size of 0.01, this EA is categorized as high risk. With a capital of 1000 US dollars and a lot size of 0.01, it is considered mid-level risk. With a capital of 10,000 US dollars and a lot size of 0.01, it is considered optimal, though the potential profit is relatively small with a small lot size. It's important to balance risk and reward. In this video, I will also discuss and conduct backtesting using the Forex Pirate EA. Based on the provided image, the EA developer has conducted backtests with results up to 258,000% over a 10-year period. This number seems impressive, but further testing is necessary to confirm its reliability. I will conduct both backtesting and forward testing. First, I will perform the backtest. If you are interested, this EA is still available for free and can be downloaded from the Terminal Tab Market. The EA settings are as follows. For mid-level risk, it is recommended to use a capital of 1,000 US dollars. I will try the backtest with the default preset. This backtest was conducted with historical data over one year and modeling quality of 99.9%. The result showed a profit of 2,431 US dollars from a capital of 1,000 US dollars with a risk of 1,889 US dollars. Next, I will try a custom backtest. The lot size is set to 0.01 and dynamic is set to false. With this setting, the drawdown was reduced to 66 US dollars, but the profit was also smaller, around 127 US dollars. I will attempt to optimize further by setting the take profit from 10 points to 50 points and running the backtest. With this setting, the profit achieved was more optimal at 592 US dollars, with a drawdown risk of 148 US dollars. If you dislike high floating losses, you can use these settings. Take profit 50 points and dynamic false with a lot size of 0.01. Next, I will conduct a backtest with dynamic true risk 0.5% and take profit 25 points. The result showed a profit of 2,429 US dollars with a potential risk of 1,395 US dollars. My personal recommendation is to use the dynamic risk false setting for lower and more controlled drawdown potential. Using dynamic risk true can result in higher floating losses as equity grows. However, the choice of settings depends on each trader's preferences and risk tolerance. This is part one of the discussion on the Forex Pirate Expert Advisor. Thank you for watching until the end.